been a while since I recorded an album in my hometown Sarajevo. This city has always been a beating heart of Sevdah music and the place where all my journeys begin and end. As I was preparing for my new album, the first for the Smithsonian Folkways label, I felt it had to be recorded here. So I invited everyone to join me in Sarajevo. But this journey began with a call from my friend, the Bosnian-American writer Alexander Hemon. He was writing a novel in which the traditional music of Sarajevo was to accompany its main character's epic journey. He asked me to create this musical world together, something that might work both as a soundtrack to his novel and an album in itself. My novel, The World and All That It Holds, is about two Bosnians. The main character is um, a Sephardic Bosnian from Sarajevo whose native language is Ladino, who witnesses the assassination of the Archduke Art, um, Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo and then goes to army to fight for the empire in uh, Galicia, what is now Western Ukraine. And there he meets a man, Osman, with whom he falls in love. And then the story follows them from Galicia to Shanghai. And so the story is of Pinto's journey and of his love for Osman. As I was writing this book, I thought that I should share it with Damir, because um, they sing songs to each other in the book. Uh, Pinto sing, sings uh, songs in Ladino and Spanish traditional Sephardic um, songs, and Osman sings traditional um, Bosnian Sevdak songs. And I thought that I could suggest to Damir to record an album, to record some of these songs, and then write some songs that would feature something from the book. It kept me <laughs> in suspense, you know, sending a chapter by chapter, so I was like, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? And I was hooked, and then I started proposing some songs that might go well. He found some beautiful songs, sent them to me, including um, Beit Turan, right, which I then integrated into the book and made it a kind of a leitmotif. It made a song, not just a song that they might sing to each other, but it becomes a, a literary motif that recurs, recurs in the book. So the, the book was being written as this project was developed. <laughs> The word Sevda actually comes from uh, an old Turkish word uh, sevda, which means love, and also it has a connection to an old uh, Arab world, a word for melancholy. Sevda or sevdalinka, meaning the song of sevda, are actually coming from the same idea about uh, love that are that is always connected to sadness, to melancholy. I'm trying to persuade him to take a big drum. Yeah. Sevdah music has several sources, uh, historical sources, uh, ballad singing, usually female, in private sphere of 
mostly Muslim girls in Bosnia and, and, and neighboring countries in the Balkans. Then popular songs from Kafana or Mehana or Coffee Society music. Then bits and pieces of epic songs and uh, influences from Oriental cultures, mostly Turkish. This album made me rethink another really important source of, of, of uh, this repertoire, at least the melodies from this repertoire, and that is uh, music of Sarajevo, Sephardic community, Jewish community of Sarajevo. So they, they were uh, expelled from uh, 15th century Spain and they came to Ottoman Empire. A big community of them was, came to Sarajevo and they became uh, a part of the Sarajevo life. A particular tradition was, is communally produced, right? It arises from the life of the community, and Sevdah is rooted in that. But in Sarajevo and Bosnia, the communities were never segregated or separated from each other, right? So the music is a place where all these communities that had their autonomous lives. Traditional music lives on, you know, in, and there is still community, but it changes meaning. For example, Sneak Padana Behar this famous song uh, that has really important uh, lines of lyrics, uh, snow falls on blossom and, and, and fruit, uh, let them love whom they like, something to that effect, you know. Was, can everyone love whoever they want? Yeah, they can love wh whomever they want, which means, you know, no, uh, it's not up to the family, it's not up to the community, it's not up to any law or regulations to determine who you want to love. Uh, I sung this song, Snijek Pada na Behar Navoče, in the first uh, Bosnian Pride Parade, you know, and it was all so important for all of us to connect this aspect of traditional life and music uh, with the contemporary life. <laughs> Zasviraj na brijeku, samo gdje mi, gdje mi radost spava. Harmoniko, po zimi i snijegu, ne bi li se duša ugrijala. As much as Sevda moves us, we believe that um, the emotions transmitted by Sevda can move audiences worldwide. And Damir is such a wonderful narrator, so he transmits the story. Well, I mean, Damir is a force in Sevda. I mean, any traditional musical form would be fortunate to have a champion like Damir, who's a great performer, He's a composer, he's a historian, he's an expert, he teaches, he's written the only book on the subject, um, and he's a wonderful singer. He's really made strides for Sevda. He takes a thing that was made in the past and then remakes it in the present for the future. And that is some of the songs that he has recorded for this book that I include in the book. I mean, they're hundreds of years old. I've been hearing them my entire life. My parents sang them, I sang them at parties. There's a enormous number of covers of this and to be able to um, produce a new version of such a song that to me is amazing um, and, and, it, and it changes our relationship my relation to the song and therefore to the past from the, which that song came yes I think about it as a one world that we build up together, mostly Sasha is the main architect. Uh, and from this world we draw on two, two different sides. Because I think this world is so beautiful. It's strongly rooted in the real world that we all know. Some important historical events, places, names, etc., etc. But it's actually a reimagination of, of one potential story that raises a lot of questions of today as well, which is really important. We built a world that is um, rooted, that is based on the foundation of which is love. And that is 
not easy and it also I hope my hope is that it's going to last because it, that sort of thing that kind of world that kind of space is under constant attack right directly or indirectly and the thing with art music or, or literature whatever once you make it and it's a thing it exists without you right we built it we'll pass and go away my hope is that this world will stay for some people to enter and then well encounter the love that we put into it and take that love to someone else Got the name of The valley opened itself up below me, the hillsides already trying out the colors for the sunset hour. I heard someone call my name, a voice deep and soft, pronouncing the soft consonants in my name as someone from Sarajevo would, but when I turned around, there was no one there, the place as empty as can be. And then the voice was singing that old Bosnian song, Beituran se uzružu savija. It was not Rahela's voice. The voice was male and warm. It sang hummingly, mumbling the words, as if the mouth was close to my ear. Beituran se uzružu savija, vilu ljubi čerzele zavija, vilu ljubi su noć na konaku, po mjesecu i mutnu oblaku. 